Okay, so this video is about um, fixing the Mercedes ML4 30. Okay, so I will let you go. I will let oh. my hobbies uh, explain it about what he's going to do because I really don't okay. know what is it. This is I'm going to replace the rear shocks uh, and, and coils together. Uh, it's the easiest way to do it on a 2001 Mercedes ML430. Uh, it's the same on all the, M the W163s. Before you do this job, you need to get this particular wrench. Okay, this wrench is a 13 millimeter. It's a flexible, stubby wrench. Uh, it's a very hard to find, but you can get it on eBay. Gear wrench sells it, but you need this, and it's a ratcheting. Okay, you really need to have this wrench. It's um, there's there's three bolts, and I'll show you when we get to that point where you need this wrench. Um, if you don't have this wrench, it's a very difficult job, but I would get it. It's not very expensive, but it'll save you a lot of headache on this job. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take jack it up and take the rear wheel off. After I do that, we'll start, uh, I'll get a little bit more detail. So this is the new jack, new jack, new shock, guys. Yep. Yeah. You buy it together as a coil and a, a spring. A, the spring and the, the shocker together. It's the easiest way to do it. It costs a little bit more. Unless you have a coil spring compressor, uh, this is the way to do it. Even with the coil spring compressor, that skinny spring uh, is very difficult to do. So just buy it. You can get it. eBay, is, again, is the best probably place to buy this. Ouch, those. ouch. Okay. <laughs> Careful. My camera person's... We're a little tight on space. Yeah. Okay. First thing you want to do, there's a, the bottom bolt. You can see on this, I'll bring the new shock out here. See how it bolts on. There's a bottom bolt that goes through the bottom of your control arm. It's an 18 millimeter. First thing you want to do is take that off. Unfortunately, I don't have a lift, so again, this job's a lot easier if you have a lift. But since we don't have lifts, we're doing it the old-fashioned way, laying on the floor.
You got it? Yeah, I got one more, but it's it's loose already. Take this one off the glass. Otherwise, it'll hurt something. It's a lot easier to put on. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Yeah, whoever is the designer on this fucked up. Okay, so we got the old one out. Uh, those three top bolts are really hard to do, but if you have that little wrench, it makes it easier. I don't know how you do it without it. I don't think you can. Now these bolts are a certain pattern. If you see, there's two that are, it only goes in one way, okay? So you have to put it in the exact same way. You just take this, kind of heavy. There's two that line up like this, and the outer one. And those. Okay, what you do is you slip the bolts, get, thread them on the, uh, the thread, the, the, the bolts on the top of the shock as far as you can with your hand, and just use your little, oops, that way, get this over, and it's much easier to put it back on, and you just uh, hook it on these. And tighten it. Tighten them as, hard, as tight as you can get them. Try to put this cap back on. I don't know if it really. Okay. There we go. Well, caps on. First thing you do, pull this around. Okay. And what you want to do is try to get this lined up with that hole. And what you have to do
Okay. We'll get that bottom bolt started. And then uh, we'll uh, tighten that up. get over there honey okay we need to put these control arm bolts back in okay first one we'll do is on this side getting them the holes lined up's the the issue just get a long Phillips head or flathead screwdriver get your holes line get one, at least just get one of the holes lined up here okay. Okay, we'll get that one there and then we'll line the other one up and once they're both lined up these things just slide in and put the nuts on the other side um, get that lined up there we go there we go like that and this one show bingo okay and what we'll do is we'll just start these bolts you have to do something um you don't want to tighten these up until you um they call put a load on it they really want you to put the wheel on but we're not ready for that so what we'll do is we'll stick a jack underneath this um simulate a load what i did is i measured um before we started i measured from the middle of the hub to the fender and you can measure in the wheel from the middle of the hub to the fender and it, it'll give you approximately how much you want to jack this up to simulate how it's sitting on the ground before you tighten these up because uh, otherwise what will happen is your car will look like it's uh, getting ready to fall over frontwards um, so let me get uh, and then this bolt goes in here.
one. Tight. Strut. Connect her back in here. Oops. Except you don't want to get your glove in there. This is a 13 millimeter. Need to have the control arm jacked up for this too. Otherwise it just won't reach. So, um, nut put on there. There we go. All done? All done. Okay. All we have to do would be put the inner shield in. And you've then seen, the tire. You've seen how to do that. And then put the wheel on. And then we'll have to go for a test drive. Then we're done. Then we're done. It was not easy job, but um, we got it. he got it. So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel and share the video. Mm -hmm.